Remember Stacy Campfield, Tennessee state senator, who's been a guest on this show. He was on this show to talk about Don't Say Gay, the Don't Say Gay bill, which is where you can't even talk about homosexuality existing in Tennessee public schools because apparently it might make children gay. Just hearing about being gay. The same way that once I heard about being tall and I decided, what the hell, I'll be tall. Didn't quite work. No. Didn't work for me. No. Nope. But it's the same type of idea. He was also very concerned about gateway sexual activity like hand-holding. That can be really, really dangerous. He is now saying that LGBT teen suicide is, quote, the biggest lark out there. Just doesn't exist. Now, most people know, of course, that LGBT teen suicide is an issue. We've, heard, we've he seen and heard extensive reporting about it. We know about bullied LGBT youth who do end up tragically taking their lives. This is a problem. We know it's a problem. Stacey Campfield doesn't think so. He was on the Sirius XM show, the Michelangelo Signorelli show. Michelangelo, I had actually met him at Netroots Nation. Very nice guy. Mm -hmm. He's a fan of this show. Yeah. We're a fan of his show. It's symbiotic. It, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you, Lewis. He uh, interviewed State Senator Stacey Campfield, and he commented about a number of things, and he had this choice quote to say about, uh, about LGBT teen suicides. He says, quote, that bullying thing is the biggest lark out there. There are sexually confused children who could be pushed into a lifestyle that I don't think is appropriate with them, and it's not for the norm for society. And they don't know how they can get back from that. I think a lot of times these young teens and young children, they find it very hard on themselves, and unfortunately some of them commit suicide. So I read this a bunch of times, and if you don't understand it from my one reading, uh, I didn't understand it from 10 readings, okay? But he, he does seem to be saying that it kind of is an issue, but for a different reason. It's because they're being pushed into a lifestyle. Of course, being gay is a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle where you are ridiculed and subjected to uh, a lack of rights and considered a second-class citizen by many people. But nevertheless, apparently, it's, it's for some reason, even with all that, it's an attractive lifestyle for some people to choose, and that's why they're killing themselves. Yeah, and who is it that's pushing them into this lifestyle? Um... I don't know, Joe Biden? <laughs> Glee, Ken Kenyan Glee. Muslim socialist communist presidents? Yeah, uh, Indonesian, Kenyan, Muslim socialist, Native American anarchist presidents obviously also are gay and want children to be gay and they push them into that lifestyle. Is it just a matter of time before Stacey Cantfield is caught tapping his toes in an airport, uh, an airport men's room? A wide stance debacle, as they may now be known? I really hope so. I really do. I don't actually hope so. I mean, in other words, it's very widely documented that a lot of these extreme right-wing anti-gay nuts are gay. And part of them acting out in this incredibly hateful and, and damaging way is because of how they grew up in an unaccepting society. So I, I, I only, the only thing, I don't hope that this guy is gay or isn't gay. I just hope that eventually he can sort out this rage and anger that has really taken over. I mean, it's almost what he, he it is what he is known for. Well, I think what does anyone know of Stacey Campfield as other than that anti-gay nut? Yeah, I think I think he clearly has followers and people who voted for him. So somebody voted for him. Yeah. Well, I think if these people see that if it turns out that he is gay himself and people see that. It might change their opinion of things when they see that he was just acting out in, in anger because of, uh, because of the way he was raised. And You're that, right. Maybe that's the positive. Maybe that's, that's the, the one possibility. Of course, we're not saying he's gay. We're just speculating.